Hello everybody, I'm Marzen64. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon! I have an Oddish here who knows the word... Not the word, cut. <laughs> Oddish cut. Cut, cut, Oddish. He, uh... Yeah, I called him out in the fields out there because, you know, he's the first one I found that knew cut. Or could learn cut. So I'm pretty sure Mankey can't. So let's go to this. And in this game, unfortunately, you have to go and select cut. It can be annoying. Hi, kitty. You know, I read some... Well, I didn't read it. Uh, my friend told me about it. Cats think you're talking to them when you, like, talk on a phone or something. So he thinks I'm talking to him right now. Sup, Picasso? Huh? <laughs> now that I'm not playing La Mulana, I can talk to you like normal and not call you kitty. Right. Yo, champion making! Lieutenant Surge is a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. In America. He's an expert of electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. Now, this is a kind of annoying. It's a, uh... It's a bunch of trash here that, you know, you can look through and... Sometimes there's a switch, but very rarely is there a switch. Let's see, what Pokemon should I bring out? Kako, Ivysaur, Raiden. Um, I'll bring out Ivysaur, you could use some training. And you know, they don't do much damage to Ivysaur, so... Oh, it's a switch on a trash. Turn it <laughs> I turned it on. Oh yeah! Sexy. Alright, now, any one of these four could have the switch the switch in it, the next one. And nope, only trash. Electric locks were reset. Now, it's randomly going to be about here again. This can get pretty annoying. You'd hope that it would be on the outside, hopefully in one of the corners. But oftentimes, this is not the case. Oh, hello. No place for kids. Uh. Wakao, I know all about SM, bitch. <laughs> I'll whip you into submission, baby. Oh, God. Eh, just tackle him. Yay! Alright. <laughs> Mindless tackling for the lose. Oh, man. So, yes, I'm also using the microphone. The uh, bad microphone. If you don't watch my La Mulana LPs, I might as well talk about that right now. It's I'm using a new microphone because my old microphone died, basically. And uh, I want to know how this one sounds to you guys. If I'm too loud, if I'm too fuzzy, if the music's not loud enough. God damn it, it's here again. Ah, bollocks. This is a bunch of bull honky. Oh, sweet. Okay, now I have a 50% chance. Okay, sweet. Motorized door open. Hi. Yeah, bitch, yeah! Yeah, aww. <laughs> there you go, Kako. Use karate chop. I don't know why I'm talking so weird. Use karate chop. Whoa, I didn't know that uh, Leech Seed worked with allies too. So apparently in the first uh, game, in the first games, critical hits worked with speed. If you had high speed, you had a higher chance of critical hits. And this attack had a high chance for critical hits. So, uh, yeah. Therefore, Mankey plus Karate Chop equals basically critical hits every goddamn time. And Magnemite is steel in every other game, but he's uh, just electric in this one. Might want to talk about the people I just fought, shouldn't I? God damn, I completely forgot to talk about all the Pokemon on the uh, ship, didn't I? Oh well. Uh, I'll talk about them later. Anyway, Voltorb! Voltorb is a fast electric type, that's basically it. It's got okay moves, and it's got explosion, which is cool. But basically the only thing it's got going for it is its insane speeds. Oh, I thought it said hooker. Okay. <laughs> Wait, was he using a whip? Oh, yeah, I know that. But, uh, let's see. Pikachu, I think you would know about Pikachu by now. And then Magnemite, which I don't really think there's two... Oh. 
I don't really think there's too much to talk about with Magnemite, really. Uh, he's just an electric type. Later on, he steals, so he has higher defense and uh, really good defenses to most things. Though crippling fire and uh, fire cripples him and stuff. So later on, right now he's not too bad. Later on, he's better, honestly. But I don't know. I don't use Steel very often. I think the only Steel Pokemon I ever really used was... What's the evolved form of Aeron? I don't know, but he's the only Steel type I ever used, like, seriously. All the others I'd catch just for the hell of it, or something. Alright, let's take on the Lightning American. Now, I want to just talk about that right now. Like, he's the Lightning American, but where the hell are we, Kanto? That's no, that's no place in the world. So apparently America is in the Pokemon world. And they all look like idiots and are from the army in America. You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you kid, electric Pokemon... Electric Pokemon saved me during the war, baby. Oh god, I can't even do that voice. I tried. That was my, that was my attempt. I'm not even going to try anymore. They set my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you, baby. God, There's that voice in the freaking anime is ridiculous. He looks really weird. All right, so lieutenants. Then again, they all do, except for Misty. Misty's hot. But anyway, uh, he's the first of the hard, the, of the uh, hard. Damn it! Oh well. He's the first of the hard uh, gym leaders, but really, he's not that bad. The only thing you gotta watch out for is his Raichu, which will be coming out with soon. I'm going to start out... Yep, that's a Raichu. Evolve form of Pikachu. The only thing you gotta worry about with Raichu... Uh, Raichus are strong, but they have really awful attacks. You have to have Pikachu learn all the good attacks before you evolve it to a Raichu, because basically after that, it's just done. All it knows is the crap that it learned as a Pikachu. So don't evolve it, like, as soon as you can. Wait till you get at least Thunderbolt. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take this Thunder Badge. Ugh. My, my voice. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. Oh, make room in my pack. Okay, sure. Uh, HP up, who can take this? Uh, I think Kako could use that most. Kako. <laughs> it's strange because we're not going to learn fly for ages. Way to go, Red. You're no baby. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So now we have some stuff to do, and by stuff to do, I mean Pokemon to catch and enslave. And you might be wondering why I'm going to enslave a bunch of Pokemon that, you know, I don't really need to be catching because I'm not going to use them. Well, there's a part coming up where you're going to need to have, like, ten Pokemon, and currently I have four. So, let's go and catch some. I could have sworn Meowth was on this route, but apparently I was wrong. I already have an Oddish. I want to catch a Pidgey. There we go. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, no. Pokeball, go! Alright, a common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings to ground level to kip up, to kip up blinding sand. Do you want to give a nickname to Pidgey? I didn't... Oh, well, I, I'm not... They're my HM slaves, who cares? Actually, I should have just named them Slave 1 and Slave 2, but, uh... And then the rest, Slave 3, Slave 4, and so on. Let's see what's here. I have no idea. An Oddish, an Oddish, an Odd Forget it. <laughs> um, okay, now we can go through here. Though, it's honestly faster to go the other way, to be honest. I think you can... Okay, Spearows are here, which I kill in one hit. Go, Kako, you're the weakest. Well, sort of. Scratch. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Pikachu, go. <laughs> no, ah, they're gone. Um, there's a new awkward zombie, uh, po Pokemon comic by the, okay, I'll catch you too. By the time this comes out, just so you know, and this is hilarious, I mean, <laughs> it, it's talking about the, uh, strengths and weaknesses of certain Pokemon. And uh, certain Pokemon types, like, it says some make sense, like, you know, fire and water. However, some people use, I'm not even gonna say this, some people use, uh, you know, certain things to, for the ones that seem to make less sense. For example, Psychic is strong against fighting. Brain over brawn. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, rock beats flying. Okay, two birds with one stone? Alright, I thought it was because rocks way down the flying Pokemon, but that works. Ice is strong against ground? Okay. I don't know why, but uh, I guess with the ice it flows into the cracks and uh, then solidifies and expands and weighs it down? That could make sense, right? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> but uh, then fighting is weak against flying. And I could never really find out why. I mean, I had this idea in my mind, and they said it. Have you ever tried to punch a bird? It's not very easy, is it? And it wouldn't do much trying to punch a bird. <laughs> it just... I don't know why, but it makes me laugh out loud. <laughs> and just like the guy who... It, it, it has like a bunch of people saying these things and then the, the last guy just has his glasses you can't see his eyes and he's like and ever everything he says in it is in italic so he's like putting force into it have you ever tried to punch a bird it just made me laugh my ass off <laughs> all right i've caught everything there that i can it would seem i thought ekans was there but apparently i'm wrong oh kakuna Considering how all you can do is, uh, harden, you know, I might as well absorb some health. <laughs> I don't know why the hell I'm doing this. Alright, fight! Or, er, item, whatever. Kakuna! Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can only harden this shell to protect itself from predators. Ooh, an Abra! Alright, let's try to catch it. Nope. See that? See? It teleports away. It does that a lot. Alright, let's uh, go over here and see if there's any wild grass. No? Okay. I think I'm all out of- oh wait, I can catch Diglets in the Diglet cave. Oh hey, I caught an Abra! Sweet! That was probably loud, I'm sorry. Ahem! Using its ability to read minds, it will identify impending danger and teleport away. Alright, no, wow. No, Oddish, do not want. <laughs> Alright, let's head on back to wherever the hell we currently, well, not current, where the hell we were before, and go through the Diglett Cave. I want to switch out with Raiden. Uh, no, Kako. Eh, yeah, Kako. I like that name, I don't know why. She did well in choosing that name. And you're probably watching this now. Hi! You know who you are. Iklibadik. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> German people, beware. Alright. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why Karate Chop is freaking normal. And it's said to be fighting in the, uh, in the trainer manual I have. I don't get that. Alright, here's the Diglett Cave. Diglett's Cave. Oh, they're drowsy in here, by the way. And a lot of trainers. So if you want to train up, here's some people. I need to, uh, I'm going to fight against, actually I'll fight against them all next video. It'll be a quick thing. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Pokemon. See you then.